Hi guys, welcome to Is It Worth the Sandwich? I'm Joe here. I'm Zach Funk. And welcome to Drinks from the Internet. Uh, I figured we'd do some nice, fun uh, Christmas-themed cocktails this year it, again. It's kind of become a little tradition for the channel. It, it is, and of course we dress as we would on Christmas, a nice little juxtaposition of very yeah. formal. And Joe, Joe wants to, you know, impress his family and go to church, and I was like, yeah, let's watch cartoons and hang out. Yeah, exactly. So, um, we're going to be covering three cocktails for you guys today. Uh, a mistletoe martini, hot buttered rum, and a boozy cocoa. Yes. In the tradition of holidays and Joe saying, boozy. <laughs> yes, of course, I, I picked the boozy cocoa because I wanted to say boozy cocoa again in that fashion. But uh, we're going to be starting with hot buttered rum. I'm really excited for this. I've never had it before and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, check it out. The Hot Buttered Rum comes to us courtesy of EpicCurious.com. We're going to be having their recipe today. In a small saucepan combined, one cup of water, two tablespoons of butter, one eighth a cup of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, eight cloves, and a pinch of salt. We're going to put that on medium high heat. Once it comes to a boil, you're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Finally, we're going to add in one third a cup of rum and we're ready to serve. All right, so Zach, this is hot buttered rum. Okay. I picked it mostly just because like, it sounds like Dickensian almost. It's like a hot buttered rum. Yes. Uh, so let's see how this tastes. It smells interesting. It's so hot, be careful. <laughs> That is rich. So hot. So hot. And so strange. All I can taste is burning. Yeah. Well, here, give it, give it another good glow. It, like, oh. I can feel the heat of my lips still. Yeah. <laughs> I told you to be careful. I it. was careful! Clearly not! No, that, that entire time I was holding this up here, I got like one sip in because I was being very slow and careful. Yeah, that's not what being careful here means. It means like blowing on it and like testing the temperature and heeding my warning that it's very hot. We have different ideas of careful when it comes to drinks. I don't like this. No, this is not for me. Yeah, I, I don't know who this is for. Um, Dickensian orphans who don't know any better? Yeah, Dickensian orphans that don't know any better. Zach, we're ruining Christmas all over again! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Points for me! Alright, well, next up we're going to be doing the Mistletoe Martini. The Mistletoe Martini comes from MixThatDrink.com. To make your Mistletoe Martini, over ice you're going to combine one and a half ounces of vodka. Ah, alright, uh, we're going to substitute the rest of that with cranberry vodka. I'm sure it will be fine. Then we're going to add one half ounce of elderflower liqueur, one and one half ounce cranberry juice, and one half ounce of simple syrup. We're going to give that a good shake and strain into our glass. To that, we're going to add a couple of cranberries and mint leaves to make it look nice and festive. All right, so this is the mistletoe martini, a nice looking cocktail. It is presumably poison because mistletoe. Yeah, exactly. Nope. No, not a fan of that? God, no. See, I don't mind this. It's got... I like the cranberry. What is it that you don't like? Is it the flower? The flower taste? Some of it's the flower. So it's just the whole package. Just The whole package. Just the whole thing. The combination of flavors does not... It does not work for you. Yeah. Now, I, I was waiting for you to be like, all right, well, I, I don't like this, but I'm going to pop one of these cranberries in my mouth. No. <laughs> This, is, this isn't the, the marshmallow from the, the score, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> or it's going to be funny if it's bad. Yeah, this, I don't know, I don't mind it, but, like, it doesn't have anything going on. Like, the, the flavors don't complement each other well. Yeah. Oh, Zach, I think we're going to ruin Christmas. I know. Two more points for me! Oh, uh, all right. I, I feel like 
I may have enjoyed it more if my taste buds hadn't been burnt off by the hot butter crumb. That's fair, or you would have liked it less. God, I didn't even think about that. You're supposed to be the optimistic one, dude. Oh, no! Zach, Christmas is quickly slipping away. So I have one thing left I can do. What's that? Uh, that's make the hot chocolate that I make extremely well. Finally, we're going to have my boozy hot chocolate. In a small saucepan, heat up two cups of milk over medium-low heat, making sure that it never comes to a boil. Once your milk is nice and hot, you're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar, one and one half tablespoon cocoa powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of chocolate chips. After I tasted this, we're gonna up that to three tablespoons of sugar. Oh, and I almost forgot, a pinch of salt. You're going to let that simmer for a little bit, stirring it occasionally, and making sure, again, not to scorch the milk. To that, you're going to add in one ounce of vanilla crown royal, one ounce of Bailey's, and what the heck, one ounce of creme de cacao. I want this to be nice and chocolatey. All right, so I feel confident that uh, this will be the best drink of the day. Okay. That is a very low bar to cross. Now, Zach, it is, care it is hot, so be careful this time. Yes, there you go. I hold it out to my ear, I can hear the chocolate ocean. Still very hot? Very, very hot. I, I don't normally drink hot stuff, so <laughs> my tolerance is kind of crap. Well, you're doing it's, No, it's very tasty. Do, do you no. want an ice cube? No, I could taste it. Yeah. And it was delicious. I'm going to drink the rest of this. It's just. Ah, still very hot, yes. But yeah, no, uh, for this one, it was. Uh, uh, Bailey's creme de cacao um, and the vanilla bourbon and yeah no those, those play really well with the hot chocolate usually if I'm making this hot chocolate for myself I, I'm not adding booze to it just because I don't think it super needs it but no. it's Christmas and it's drinks from the internet and it's drinks from the internet and Zach Zach we made a good cocktail for we Christmas saved, we saved Christmas yay <laughs> But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us on this uh, little fun episode, uh, and I hope you guys have a pleasant uh, Christmas, holiday, whatever you celebrate. Merry whatever you do. Merry whatever saying, you do. As the old saying goes. There you go. So hot.